Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with an unboxing from Enablers Outpost. This is a kit that I had picked up a couple months ago on pre-order, um, and it's been sitting waiting for me to unbox it and do it justice. So this adorable kit is another dragon kit from the one and only Emma Casey, who has released a few different kits with Enablers Outpost, um, and they are so, 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 so adorable. So the one that I have for you today is I believe the one is, the name of this one is Moonlit Dragon. I'm gonna double check on the name once we actually get into the box, but we do have the picture on the end. It's gonna be 60 by 60 centimeters and have round diamonds. There's Enablers Outposts branding. And when I just checked, just before filming this, which I'm not sure when this video will go up, but at least when I checked, they actually had some in stock on the website. Enablers Outposts sometimes does pre-orders and sometimes they have kits in stock. They try to list list it specifically so that you know exactly what you're getting when you go to buy a kit. So I will link to this listing as long as it's available. Otherwise, just go to the Enablers Outpost website and you can look specifically at diamond paintings. So we just have some basic branding on the box. There's some info on the back about how to diamond paint, but more importantly, let's get inside this box. So uh, if you've heard of Enablers Outpost, but don't necessarily associate them with diamond paintings, that wouldn't be surprising, I don't think. Though they are really upping their diamond painting game, and I think really making a name for themselves in that way. But they were first known for their hand-turned diamond painting pens. So that may very well be how you know Enablers Outpost. So, wow, look at those colors. Oh my gosh, look at this cute dragon. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so you can see this has tons of gorgeous purples and pinks and is so adorable. So yep, that camera's just gonna roll right back up here. Let's help that first so that you can enjoy this beautiful artwork while we talk about it. Uh, so uh, Enablers Outpost uses a nice quality canvas. It's a nice thick heavyweight. Um, it's gonna hold the drills really beautifully and just seems like it's gonna be really nice to work with. They also use poured glue on their canvases, which means it is safe to roll it backwards like I just did. And there we go, it's laying a little bit more flat though this end still, <laughs> let's roll this from this end too. It is a stiff canvas, it wants to hold, hold its shape. But honestly, that means that it's gonna hold the drills really well. So this is not a complaint on my part at all. <laughs> I'd much rather this than like a really flimsy canvas. So there we go. Look at how cute that is. So oh, a little dragon reflection here. So adorable. So here's a look at that original artwork. Yes, Moonlit Reflections is the name of this one. It's by Emma Casey. Enablers Outpost did license this artwork from Emma Casey, which means they have her, her per permission to use it and are compensating her for using it as well. They have a little note here, um, including the specs for the image, a 60 by 60 centimeter drill area, 34 colors, 33 of them are rhinestones? Really? <gasps> I don't know if I knew that. That's gonna be amazing. And one glow in the dark. Uh, poured glue, round drills. And then look, you guys, they are so awesome. They are linking directly to the artist's social. So they are encouraging you to follow along and support the artist. And there's a little blurb about Emma Casey. And then over here is a color list. This is printed on just regular paper, but I'm gonna cut this out and put this through a sticker maker that I have. And I, um, so I don't mind that this is paper. I will link to the sticker maker that I use. It's a Xyron X150. It's really, really inexpensive. Uh, it goes in and out of stock a bit though. So I will I'll link to it, but it may or may not be in stock when you guys go and look. But it just makes turning these into labels really easy. And it's really inexpensive, like I said. And so then I can put these labels either on the baggies, because it looks like these diamonds came on in Ziploc baggies that I'll show you in just a moment. Or if I put them into storage containers, which is more likely, I could put these labels on the storage containers. And then I'll probably cut out this artwork and put it in my paper logbook. So love all the info that Enablers Outpost includes. They also give you a toolkit that's gonna have the basics you need to do your diamond painting. But this is, I think, a pretty, like relatively beginner friendly size, intermediate friendly size. Um, 
They have a wide variety of different kinds of artwork and sizes of paintings. Here's a basic pen and squishy. You're gonna get a tray as well, just a basic white boat. Some, ooh, I like the thin plastic multi-placers over the thicker ones. Uh, if you wanna try placing more than one diamond at a time. We also have a caddy with some blue wax and then a pair of pointy tweezers. Yeah, they're stabby, keep that cover on. <laughs> so really, honestly, everything you're gonna need to do your diamond painting. Let's go on a little tour of this pretty, pretty canvas. So at the top, we've got their branding, Enablers Outpost. Again, this really nice material. It's like it's almost like a tight weave on the back. Uh, the edges are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. And then we have a color list up here or a legend up here at the top left. We have the same schematic over here at the bottom right. It includes the model number for this one, the size, the thumbnail, and then there's that color list again. And then they make sure to note the name and the artist here at the bottom. So I mentioned about how this is legally licensed from Emma Casey. And that's consistent with all their artwork. It's either Old Masters artwork, which is part of the public domain, uh, which I have one of those I'll have to get into with you guys soon, uh, but they also license from artists as well. Looking at the drill field, these symbols feel very familiar because I have I have completed an Enablers Outpost kit before. I'll link to the post review for that kit and any other unboxings I've done if you want to take a look. Uh, I'm really, really happy with their quality. I love supporting a small shop and I, I really love a lot of the artwork that they're licensing as well. So the symbols look really clear and easy to read to me. I'm trying to see if there's any that I'm worried about mixing up. Occasionally, some of the darker printing, um, like if you like to use light pads, depending on what your lighting situation looks like when you're working, you might want light pads to more clearly be able to make out these symbols uh, because it's that black print on a dark color background. Um, same kind of with this, like there's that lowercase a printed in black on a dark blue background. It's not too similar to other symbols, so I don't think I'm gonna mix it up, but if if that's something you struggle with, like just eyesight wise, I know a lot of people use light pads. I typically don't, um, but I just wanted to let you know that's there. Otherwise though, printing looks good. It looks like we're gonna have a little bit of color blocking and lots of confetti. So color blocking is, so here's a really good example. We have this big section that's all the same symbol. Uh, that's what diamond painters typically call color blocking. Areas like that, you'll be able to use a multi-placer. You'll have that color in your tray for a little while. Uh, that usually goes faster. By contrast, there are a good number of areas that have what we call more like confetti. So here's a good example in here. Um, where there's a lot more color changes in a small area, you'll be mostly single placing and changing out that color in your tray more often. Um, I like to have both in my painting. The, the confetti gives you a nice bit of detail and keeps it interesting. The color blocking is nice because it keeps it moving. So I think this artwork is so, so, so adorable. Let's do a really quick measurement and see if we're true to size. 60 by 60 centimeters is what we're listed at. So we are a tiny tick shy of 60 centimeters, left to right, and then top to bottom, we are about 60 on the nose, maybe a tiny tick shy of it. So it's true to size, not surprising. Um, I feel like that was my experience with Enablers Outpost before. So you guys, full crystals. I am pretty sure that like I knew this when I ordered it, but then my memory is so terrible that I just flat forgot. And so this is actually a really fun surprise. I am not positive, I'll have to double check if this is only offered in full crystal or if they also offer a version that is just with regular diamonds. I will take a look, I will let you know. But the version I have is full crystals. And honestly, looking at this original artwork, like I can totally see why I made that decision if there was an option <laughs> and I can see why I picked crystals. And even if there wasn't an option, I can see why I was like, oh yeah, that will look amazing in full crystal. I'm totally getting that even if that's the only option that they offer. So let's take a look. It says there's also a glow in the dark drill. Okay, so let me show you first. That's our glow in the dark. I'll show that to you in just a bit. Let me show you these crystals though, especially if you're newer and you're like, I'm not totally sure what crystals are. So we have all these different colors. Holy cow, that is so pretty. 
those purples and blues and pinks. Wow, this is like my happy place. I love it. So crystal drills, crystal drills, crystal drills. Uh, if you take a look, you will see that there's lots of those silver backings. That is the part that goes on the bottom. It covers up the symbol completely. So you're only gonna see the color popping through instead. Um, and it also really helps that crystally glassy, like semi-transparent, that top part with the color. Um, the silver coating helps that really reflect and pop a lot. So I love that. That's a really pretty aqua. And then if you look on the front of the bag, this code right here is going to match up with the color code. So 3844, this is 3844. And then the 1.45 I'm guessing is ounces. Like I bet they, they had this measured out by ounce. Yeah, because these vary DMC or yeah, the color code and then the number of ounces. So gorgeous blues and pinks and purples. I won't pull them all out because that would take a while. <laughs> um, it looks like we do have a nice big bag of this 550, which is a gorgeous royal purple. Of course, mostly the silver backings are showing. And then, oh, that's a really pretty bluish purple. Like how many different shades of purple crystal are there? Because I love it. Ooh, look at that pink. Some more bluish purples. So tons and tons of shade variation going on in here. And we have a couple of bags of this 820, which is a nice like deep blue. Love that, it's like a royal blue. I wonder if that's, is that, let's see, what's 820? Yep, that's that main background color. This dark blue background color is this color of crystal. I don't know how well the camera is going to show that. It really wants to pick up the silver backs, but so the that's oh, there's even another couple bags of that 820 color in here actually. So lots and lots of that color. Uh, we even have some of this really pretty clear crystal. That's going to have such a pretty sparkly effect, you guys. Oh my gosh. And then here is our glow in the dark diamond. So it's a 5200, which is kind of that off white. And these are gonna glow in the dark. Yeah, okay, you can kind of see. I don't know how well it's gonna show on camera. Not well at all. Okay, well, um, I did when I can see myself like, okay, it glows just a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, you can kind of see, you can kind of see it. <laughs> so those are gonna glow in the dark. Let's see where those are gonna go. So the glow in the dark drills, let's see, we're looking for the check mark. So right here, these like little hooked shaped white lines here on the dragon's snout, that's gonna be the glow in the dark. And it's just gonna appear white when it's not glowing. So that's gonna be pretty and kind of stand out amongst the crystals. Uh, these glints in the dragon's eyes, the white you're seeing, that's gonna be that white glow in the dark. Along the lines of the dragon's claws right here, the dragon's kind of gripping the edge. There's like three or four in each of those of that glow in the dark drill. A couple over here as well. There's some down in this corner, just a little bit. It's not all of this white. It's more there's just like half a dozen kind of along the edges of that glow in the dark. And a couple sprinkled right in here as well. A couple sprinkled up here. Let's see, are those supposed to be like fireflies or little, I think they're little, oh, they're little magic sparkles little magic sparkles oh, that's so cute <laughs> and then if we go up here this up here which i believe is, is the moon it's outlined in those glow in the dark and i think the middle is going to be that clear crystal that's going to be such a striking effect and then these magic sparkles in the sky there's one or two each of that white glow in the dark drill in each of those sparkles. That's gonna look so pretty and is gonna stand out beautifully against the dark background. And then this big cluster up here has maybe a dozen of that white glow in the dark drill. This is gonna be so cute. Don't you guys think this is gonna look really, really amazing as a full crystal kit? Oh my gosh, these colors. I feel like it lends itself so perfectly to the artwork for it to be a full crystal kit. I think that's gonna look really striking and suit the artwork beautifully. So 
This again was Moonlit Reflections from Enablers Outpost and artist Emma Casey. As of the time of this filming, it's in stock on the website. And if you have questions about this specifically, if you don't see it in stock or just wanna, if you have any questions that I'm not able to answer or haven't answered in this video, I'm sure you can contact Enablers Outpost. The owners over there, Elizabeth and Edward, are super sweet and very, very helpful. It is a small business. It's owned just by the two of them. They operate everything themselves. Uh, so do keep that in mind. I like to remind everyone to please be kind and gracious to small shop owners. Um, I know that they work so, 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 so hard to bring us really amazing quality products. And Elizabeth and Edward are really good ones. So be sure to check them out. They also offer hand-turned diamond painting pens and they have some other accessories, including I think some special drills that you can order and their Enablers Outpost Chit, which is a scented putty. I really like to use it in my multi-placer. They currently do restocks on Saturday mornings and I usually see them do previews sometime on Thursday or Friday. They have a Facebook group and uh, like an Instagram account and, a, and that kind of thing. So I will link to all of those below. They also have a YouTube channel. They do lives each week. I think, is it on Tuesdays or Wednesdays? I'm blanking on it. I'm sorry, you guys. But please check them out on all the things. Like I said, they're good people and you should totally uh, see what their shop has to offer. and. Um, give them a follow as well. So thank you so much for watching my friends. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this kit with me. This was one that I actually did purchase myself. This wasn't sent to me for review or anything. So I hope that this was a, this felt like a totally unbiased and helpful uh, look at what Enablers Outpost has to offer and what this kit looks like, this amazing full crystal kit. Uh, so I, yeah, I hope it was helpful. If it was, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? And if you're not already subscribed and wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, including unboxings, reviews, like when I eventually work on this one, you'll see me put up a review on it and stuff like that, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my little community here. So thanks so much for watching my friends. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.